a Missouri second grader, a second grader brought a gun, a loaded gun to school to show off to friends. Okay. This happened on Monday. KSDK reported that a second grader at a public school in St. Louis, Louis, Missouri, brought a loaded gun from his home to do what? To show off to classmates. Obviously a very dangerous situation. A spokesperson for the school district later said a teacher saw the student showing the gun off during recess and took action. Officers with the St. Uh, Louis Metropolitan Police Department and school district security officers were called to the school on Enright Avenue and confiscated the weapon without incident. A police spokesperson said the student found the gun in a lock box under his parents' bed and wanted to show it off. Now, here's the thing about a lock box. If it's actually in a lock box, you don't get access to the gun if the box is locked and serving its purpose, which is to make sure that a second grader cannot get access to the gun. That's why you have a lock box. Police say they did not, uh, do not intend to charge uh, due to the nature of the incident, continued the report. A statement from the school district reminded parents to check on any weapons in the home and secure them out of the reach of children. That'll do it. That'll do it. A firm statement from the school district. That will clear this up. Absolutely. The it's incident comes, it's, it's ridiculous. And this incident comes obviously weeks after the school shooting in Oxford Township, Michigan, where a teenage boy used a gun that his parents purchased as a Christmas gift to kill four classmates and injure several more. Uh, those parents have been charged. Let me remind people about guns in the United States of America. As gun sales in the U.S. spiked by 70 percent in March of 2020, you know what else spiked? Accidental shooting deaths by minors spiked by 43 percent. Around 77 percent of accidental gun deaths happened in the home. The majority of people killed in firearm accidents are under the age of 24. And most of these young people are being shot by someone else, usually someone their own age. The shooter is typically a friend or family member, often an older brother. By contrast, older adults are at a far lower risk of accidental firearm death and most often are shooting themselves. Francesca, what are your thoughts here? I mean, I think that's really important context to remember that when you know, conservatives freak out that liberals are trying to take away their guns and put all these, you know, uh, gun controls and uh, on on their liberties and their Second Amendment rights. That the vast majority of Americans support basic gun legislation that is smart that we also, you know, we're in favor of, and that one of those things is having a better way to store safely a gun in your house, and maybe not even having a gun in your house. Right? Like, what is it? What about legally storing a gun outside of your house at a firing range or wherever? Right? Um, some kind of space that is outside of the home. Because once again, and this could have been way worse. This is not an Ethan Crumbly yeah. case. Right? But once again, your stats are pointing out there that the vast majority of victims of gun violence are people within the home, our families themselves, our relatives of the gun owners, are the children of gun owners. And look, Anyone who has kids, anyone who's interacted with a kid knows about like the cell phone, right? Kids love, you can't, a baby wants a cell phone like a baby wants a bottle, right? More, it's like mm, cell phone bottle because they want what parents have. They want what parents love and worship. And the more special a thing that a parent has, the more a kid's going to want, especially a second grader trying to show off to his classroom. Oh, the cool thing that mommy and daddy love you know, that they that they talk about all the time in this crazy country of gun worshipers that we live in. Well, I want that, too. Of course, a child is going to think that. Right. So it's like, when do we actually talk about maybe keeping guns out of the home? And again, no one, all conservatives will, will yell at me because apparently they all live in insanely dangerous neighborhoods that they have to defend to the death uh, with their automatic rifles. 
when yeah, we know that's not the case. <laughs> yeah, not the case. Quite interesting that the reality of the data says that you're far more likely to shoot yourself or shoot somebody accidentally than to actually use a gun in order to protect yourself or protect somebody else.